Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Back for another Chattanooga State game of baseball. Donovan Peebles on the mound. Delivers. Ball one. Got number 32, Scotty Dean, behind the dish tonight. Number three, Cade Chamley at third. Colin Treverson at short. C.J. Morrow at second base. That one's in there for strike one. Bryson Jenkins at first base. Braden Graves in left field. Birdie Blue in center. Tyler Jones in right field to round out the defense. Peebles delivers the 1-1. Catches the corner, strike two. Number three at the plate for Jackson State. Harrison Freeman out of Jackson, Tennessee. The one, two. Swing and a miss, blocked by Dean. Strike three, and the leadoff hitter is retired. Stepping up to the plate, number five, Garrett Taylor, the sophomore out of Clarksville, Tennessee. Peebles coming off a pretty decent start against Cleveland last weekend. Looking to keep his success rolling. First pitch fouled off. 0 oh, 1 count. It's a beautiful day here in Chattanooga. 73 degrees. Not a cloud in the sky. Peebles gets back on the mound. Come set. Comes to the plate. Slider catches the outside corner. Strike two. Tigers looking to finish off the sweep. Jackson State this weekend. Peebles, the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. Blocked by Dean. Throw over the first in time. And Peebles strikes out the first two hitters of the game. Stepping up to the plate. Number 36. Ooh, not on the roster here. Peebles come set. The OO pitch. Misses. Ball one. Pitch in there, strike one, count goes even at one and one. Two outs here in the top of the first. Peebles come set. Comes to the plate. Ball two. Two one pitch. And there's strike two. Count goes even. Two and two. The Tigers have a record of 36 and 8 right now. Conference record standing at 15 and 5. As Peebles brings the, uh, the 2 2. Swing and miss. Donovan Peebles strikes out the side to start the game. Tigers looking to get something going in the bottom half of the first inning.
Bottom half of the first inning here. Number five, Brody Blue, looking to lead things off for the Tigers. Number 15, Jason Hamm, the sophomore out of Spring Hill, Tennessee, on the bump for Jackson State. Blue looking to continue his phenomenal freshman campaign. First pitch, misses off. Count goes 1-0. and If you're Blue here, what are you looking for, Connor? Um, I think you always got to go fastball. I think you always have to look fastball and adjust off And speed. he gets the fastball, grounds it over the second, ball's booted, Blue's got good speed, and he legs it out. Leadoff runner on base, courtesy of an error by Jackson State. It'll bring up the second baseman, number nine, C.J. Morrow. Committed to Nichols State in Louisiana. Yeah, C.J. had a... A tough day yesterday, put some good swings on the ball, just didn't really find any holes. So I'm looking for CJ today to stay more left center field today. He was getting out in front yesterday. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he can make that adjustment. Blue's got great speed over at first, so that's ball one. Leads the team in stolen bases. Wouldn't be surprised to see him try to get himself in the scoring position here early. Yeah, absolutely. Go to righty, his, uh, his time to... The play doesn't look too quick, so I wouldn't be surprised to see if Baloo goes. Ham delivers. Misses outside again. 2-0 count. Command seems to be an issue here early. Falling behind these hitters. Baloo leads it off first. Expands the lead. Ham comes to the plate. Ball three. Three straight fastballs away. What are we thinking? Are we taking 3 0 bomb here? No. There is a universal take sign 3 0. Oh. Unless you're Scotty Dean. There is a <laughs> universal take sign 3 0. Oh. No, he, he'll be taking this pitch. And Ham throws over the first. Kind of a B move there. Keep Blue honest. Back in standing. But you know what? CJ can go rogue and hammer a fastball if he gets one. So He does have two home runs on the air. 3-0 pitch in there for strike one. Sophomore third baseman Cade Chamley on deck. Hit a home run in yesterday's sweep of the doubleheader. A 3-1 pitch. Ball four. So the Tigers getting some base runners early. Runners at first and second, no outs. Chamley coming up to swing it. And Jackson State going to slow things down here and talk it over. Back in a minute. So Ham, let's talk things over with his coach. Runners at first and second, no outs here in the bottom half of the first inning. Can we see a bunt here, Pascal? You could see one. You could expect to see one. The way Chanley's been swinging it this year, I would expect to see him swing it. Absolutely. But a sack bunt makes plenty of sense in this situation. Get ahead early. Ham comes to the plate. Strike one, looking. I'm trying to the shortstop hold. Yeah, you're relieved to do it.
KJ Emily rips that one in the right field. Brody Blue rounds third base to throw home. The tag is put on, and he is called safe. Brody Blue will score on that single to right field by Kate Chamley. C.J. Morrow advances to second. Scotty Dean will step up to the plate here with no outs. Runners on first and second in the bottom of the first for your Chattanooga State Tigers. The OO delivery is taken high and in fastball. Hames delivery to Dean is a ball taken outside 2-0. Dean in a positive count here, looking to do some damage. 2-0 delivery from him. Is swung at, grounded towards the four hole. Second baseman moving over, fields it and throws over to first and records the first out. Runners will advance to third and second on the play. Bryson Jenkins steps up to the plate here with one out in the bottom of the first. Kate Chamley leads off second. C.J. Morrow leads off third. Ham's delivery. Swung at. Driven deep to left field. The left fielder is going back. And we'll watch that one fly over the wall. Bryson Jenkins hits a three-run bomb here in the bottom of the first inning. Great swing right there from B.J. Sam Walters now steps in, takes a fastball in for a ball. Walters takes a strike on the outside corner. That 1-1 one, one pitch is taken for strike two. Walters in a 1-2 count here with one out. One two delivery is taken ball two. Two two delivery. Is swung on, hit sharply to the second baseman who bobbles it a little bit and throws it over to first. Sam Walters is recorded as a second out here in the bottom of the first. Two outs here in the bottom of the first. Ham's delivery is check swung at. Neither umpire will appeal. And that is taken ball one. The 1 0 delivery, taking ball two way outside. Two 0 count here to Braden Graves. Takes ball three. Tyler Jones awaits on deck, hitting in the eight hole. Three zero delivery. Graves taken all the way. Takes strike one.
And the 3-1 pitch is taking strike two right on the outside corner. Great, nice pitch there from him. And the full count delivery. Graves chops that one right to the third baseman who bobbles it. Graves, pretty fast, will beat that one out. That will be scored as an error on the third baseman. Graves with a good 90 right there, was hustling all the way. Tyler Jones steps up with two outs. That one, or that 0-0 pitch to Tyler Jones is taken high and away for ball one. Graves leads off first. Ham comes set, picks off. Graves in there easily. And the 1-0 delivery, Jones takes a strike on the right outside corner. One one count here. Two outs in the bottom of the first. Jones takes a slider high and in for ball two. Colin Trevinson waits on deck. We'll see if we can get the freshman shortstop up here in the bottom of the first. Jones swings at that one for strike two. Two two count here with two outs. Two two delivery here from Ham. Graves takes off. That's a ball high. The throw. Graves is in there with a steal of second base. Full count. Shortstop playing a little over the top. Full count here with two outs to Tyler Jones. Ham comes set. Fastball delivery is swung on and missed, strike three. The Chet State Tigers score four here on two hits and two Jackson State errors, and we'll head to the top of the second. Jacob Bryant stepping up to the plate here for Jackson State in the top of the second. Donovan Peebles is still on the mound for the Tigers. The 0-0 from Peebles is taken for strike one at the bottom of the zone. Bryant did not think that that was a strike, but the umpire disagrees with him. Peebles come set. Peebles struck out the side in the first inning. Works himself into a 1 1 count here.
Peoples come set. The 1-1 one -one pitch is taken high and away for ball two. The 2-1 delivery, curveball, did not catch the inside corner, ball three. Peebles' 3-1 pitch is taking ball four. That is a leadoff walk for Jacob Bryant as Drake Blackwood steps up to the plate. This lefty hit a absolute bomb to center field yesterday. We'll see what he does here with the runner on first and no outs in the top of the second inning. People's delivery is taking ball one. The 1-0 delivery is another ball. That is six in a row for Donovan to start this inning after throwing a first pitch strike. Peebles in a 2-0 count here. Bryant leads off first, and he throws that one behind the left-handed hitter as it rolls away all the way to the backstop, and Jacob Bryant will advance to second base. That 3 0 pitch is swung on and driven in between the second baseman and shortstop. Trevinson makes a great play, moving over to his left, spins and throws over to first. Bryant will advance to third on the play as Blackwood is recorded for the first out of this top of the second. Garrett Lance steps up from Martin, Tennessee. Peebles is 0-0. Curveball low and away, taking ball one. The 1-0 delivery catches the outside corner as Peebles... Gets back in the zone. Works to count 1-1. C.J. Morrow playing over the top of second base a little bit. Trevison shaded into the hole. K. Chamley hugging the line. Tigers are in a little bit of a shift here. As Peebles delivers this 1-1 count. A little bit high. Ball two. This 2-1 delivery from Peebles is a fastball on the outside corner again. That one looked a little bit outside, but the umpire thought it ca caught the zone. 2-2 Two -two count here to Lance with one out. As Bryant leads off a third base. The 2-2 Two -two pitch looked like a slider or a changeup on the outside corner, but that was taken for ball three. Full count here. Full count delivery is swung at strike three. The lefty Kylon Joyner steps in with two outs in the top of the second inning. Takes a fastball on the inside corner for strike one.
People's 0-1 delivery is taking ball one a little bit outside. The 1-1 delivery to Joyner is swung at. Chopped at third base. K. Chamley coming in. Fields it. Throws over. And Joyner is recorded as the third out of this top of the second inning. We'll head to the bottom of the second. Donovan worked out of a little bit of a jam there with a runner on second and nobody out. And your Tigers will come up to hit. Colin Trevison stepping up to the plate here. We have a new pitcher for Jackson State. Trevison made a nice play last inning up the middle, moving to his left. We'll see what he does here to lead off the bottom of the second inning for the Tigers. That is taking ball one low. That is swung on and chopped foul. Strike one. The 1-1 delivery is taken for a strike. That moves the count to 1-2 here. The 1-2 delivery is fouled straight back. That is taken. Curveball in the dirt ball, too. Brody Ballou waits on deck. Trevinson in a 2 2 count here with nobody out, leading off the bottom of the second. That is chopped straight back. Another foul ball from Trevinson, putting together a good at bat here.
That 2-2 pitch is taken high, ball three. Three two delivery is another foul ball from Trevinson, putting together a very good at bat. It's his third foul ball here. This will be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Full count delivery is swung at and driven into left field. That might be two. Trevinson rounding second, heading towards second. That ball gets all the way to the fence. He's going to third. He will be up easy at third with the stand-up triple to lead off the bottom of the second inning. Great at-bat there from Trevinson. Hits the eighth pitch sharply into the left center gap, and it rolls all the way to the wall, and he's in with the stand-up triple. Brody Ballou steps up here, takes strike one. The 0-1 delivery is popped into foul territory, moving towards the tennis courts, drops outside the fence for the second strike of the at-bat. Brody Ballou in an 0-2 count here. The 0-2 delivery is taken high for a ball. One two delivery here to Baloo is taken outside ball two. Two-two delivery here to Blue is taken right down the middle. Strike three. C.J. Morrow steps up now with one out. Colin Trevison leads off the third base after that leadoff triple. Third baseman's playing in. Middle infield is back. CJ drives that into center field. The center fielder will work his way under that. Catch it. Trevson heads home. The throw looks like he will be up easy. And that is a sack fly for CJ Morrow as the Tigers extend their lead to 5 to nothing. Two outs. Kay Chamley steps up here, hitting out of the three hole. Number three at third base. Pops that one up to the first baseman, who will work his way under it easily and record Kay Chamley as a third out to end the bottom of the second inning. Your, your Chattanooga State Tigers scratch one on the sack fly from C.J. Morrow after Colin Treverson's triple, and we will head into the top of the third.
Number 12, Devin Myers, will lead off here for Jackson State. People's delivery. Myers tries to bunt at it, misses, and that will be strike number one. O one delivery here from Peebles. Swung at. Slider on the outside corner. Strike two. O two count here. That is a curveball on the outside corner. Taking strike three. Great pitch right there from Peebles. As he retires, Devin Myers on three quick strikes. Number 20, Cade Spaulding will step up to the plate after that strikeout from Peebles. That is taken outside, ball one. One zero delivery here from Peoples is taken strike one fastball in the outside corner. Nice pitch right there. That one one delivery is taken high and in ball two. Spalding has worked himself into a two one count here. Two one delivery is chopped shortstop. Trevison coming in, fields it, throws across the infield. Bryson jumps up a little bit, but he stayed on the bag, and that will be the second out of the inning. Harrison Freeman now steps up after two quick outs recorded by Donovan Peebles. Looking to get his third here. The O delivery is taken. Ball one looked a little low. Tigers infield is playing a little bit, little bit of a shift right here. Bryson Jenkins is hugging that first baseline. C.J. Morrow is shaded into the outfield a little bit over to his right. Trevinson's playing up the middle a bit. Kate Chamley is over towards the six hole. As that pitch is taken, ball two. The 2 0 delivery is taken for a strike, two, to, two and one. Two one count here. Freeman takes strike two on the inside corner. Two two delivery is taken. Change up in the dirt. Freeman works himself into a full count here. We'll see if Peebles can get the Tigers' offense back up to the plate. With one more pitch. Peebles come set. The full count delivery to Freeman. Swung at. Popped up. Behind third base. All three guys on the left side are going for it. Braden Graves works under it and records Freeman as the last out in the top of this third inning.
Number 25, Cole McKinney, out for a second inning of work for Jackson State as Scotty Dean will step up to the plate here. Scotty Dean leading off. Bryson Jenkins. Bryson Jenkins is on deck. OO delivery is taken. A little high. Scotty Dean will lead off. Bryson Jenkins on deck. Braden, Sam Walters, sorry, in the hole. 1 0 count here to Dean. McKinney's delivery is taken. Ball two, a little bit low. Two zero count here. McKinney with the delivery. Dean pops that one straight up in the middle of the infield. Coming back down, I couldn't even see that one. First baseman works his way under it. Inner court, Scotty Dean is the first out in the bottom of the third inning. One out here. Jenkins takes the 0-0 delivery and swings through it. Strike one. A one count here. The delivery. Jenkins pops that one up. What well, looks like to be the third baseman who's working under it. Shortstop coming over. The third baseman will put it away. Jenkins is recorded as out number two here. Sam Walters is stepping up to the plate. He grounded out to the second baseman his last at bat. Two outs here. Sam Walters steps into the box and takes that fastball on the outside corner for strike one. Oh, one delivery here to Walters drives that. That will end up being a foul ball off of the cages over near right field. O2 oh, count here quickly. O2 oh, count here to Walters. McKinney with a delivery. Is swung at. Fastball high and away. Strike three. McKinney with a good inning of work there. Gets a three up, three down in the middle of the Tigers' order as we head to the top of the fourth inning. Peebles back on the mound for the Chattanooga State Tigers here in the top of the fourth inning. Good three innings of work so far. Has dropped zeros in the runs column, all three, as he hits the outside corner with a slider. 
Number five, Garrett Taylor. Number five. The O one delivery is a slider in the dirt. One one count here. People's come set. CJ Moore and play CJ Morrow playing over the top of second base a little bit. The one one delivery is a fastball at his head. Check swung through for strike two. Yeah. And the one two delivery is check swung at. Umpire calls it a ball. 2-2 two -two count here. Good take right there from Garrett Taylor. Two two delivery here to Taylor. That is a slider driven to the right center gap. Tyler Jones moving over. He will make a diving catch. Oh, what, a what a play by Tyler Jones. I for sure thought that ball was dropping. He came out of nowhere and made a diving backwards catch. What a play by Tyler Jones as Garrett Taylor is recorded as out number one here in the top of the fourth inning. Oh, oh, count here. That is a changeup taken over the middle of the plate for strike one. The one delivery is blooped out in the center field. C.J. Moore will move him back, and that one will drop for a base hit. That is the first hit of the ball game for Jackson State. The no-hitter has been broken up, unfortunately. Number 10, Jacob Bryant steps back in. One out, runner on first. Peebles looking for a double play ball here. C.J. Morrow playing over the top of second base a little bit. Trevinson in the six hole. K. Chamley hugging the line, expecting him to pull. That is a slider in the dirt. Scotty Dean does a good job of blocking it up as a runner has to stay first. The 1-0 delivery is another slider. That one is a little bit higher, but still outside. 2-0 count here. Two zero count. The delivery is a fastball and bounced about 59 feet and ball three. That 3-0 pitch is back in the zone for Peebles here. He works himself 3-1. We'll see if he can work himself back into a 3-2 count or maybe get a double play ball to end the inning here. That is ball four as Jacob Bryant works himself into a walk. Peebles has now worked himself into a runners on first and second after recording the first out. As Drake Blackwood steps up to the plate, Coach Felger will call time and come out and come and talk to his pitcher.
Blackwood steps in. People still on the mound. Come set. The 0-0 delivery is a fastball. Correction slider broke over the inside part and taken for ball one. One oh count here. That is a change up on the outside corner. Nice pitch there from Peebles. Looking to get him out in front and maybe chop one over to the second baseman to turn a double play ball, but Blackwood with a good take right there. One one delivery here. Runners on first and second. Top of the fourth inning. That is a slider high and in. Two one count here to Blackwood. Peebles with the delivery. That is a fastball out of the zone, and Blackwood has worked himself into a three one count. Nobody up in the bullpen yet for the Tigers. Three one count here. Peebles with the delivery. That is a fastball. Hits Blackwood on his right knee. As that was going to be ball four anyways. And he will head to first base. The bases are now loaded with one out here. Number 14, Garrett Lance will step up to the plate. Garrett Lance, a freshman out of Martin, Tennessee, stepping up in a big situation here. Looking to get Jackson State back in the game here in the top of the fourth inning. And the first pitch of the at-bat is fouled straight back, strike one. That is a slider swung through. 0-2 count here from Peoples. Doing a good job so far this at-bat. We'll see if he can execute an 0-2 pitch right here. Maybe strike out Garrett Lance, get get his second out of the inning. The 0-2 pitch is a curveball driven into left center field. Graves working under it, catches it. The run will score from third. The runners on first and second have to hold up, but that will be a sack fly for Garrett Lance. Hit that one well. Braden Graves runs over to the left center gap and makes a nice play as Kylon Joyner will step up with two outs and runners on first and second. That is the first run of the ball game for Jackson State. The score is now 5-1. to one. That is driven up the middle. Trevinson slides. It will get under his glove, and that run will score from second base. Joyner with a nice piece of hitting right there on first pitch. Just takes that outside fastball right back up the middle for a single. That first pitch is fouled straight back. Oh, one count here. CJ Moore wants to pick off. People says no and delivers the pitch to the plate for ball one. Number 12, Devin Myers steps in here. He's in a 1-1 count here with two outs after that RBI single from Kylon Joyner, who stands on first. Garrett Lance on second. Two outs here in the top of the fourth inning. Peebles picks off. C.J. Morrow has to jump to keep that ball from going into center field as the runner dives back in easily. Devin Myers looking to extend this inning as the 1-1 delivery is a slider taken low and away in the dirt. 
two one count. Peebles in a two one count here. The delivery fastball did not catch the outside corner. Ball three. Three one pitch is a fastball right on the outside corner. Myers threw his bat back to the dugout as he thought that one was ball four, but the umpire disagrees with him. 3-2 count here with two outs. Lance off a second, Joiner off a first. They will likely be on the move right here with the pitch. Devin Myers takes the 2-1 or 3-2 delivery for ball four. Kate Spaulding steps up with the bases loaded and two outs. First pitch here with the bases loaded is a fastball right down the middle. Spaulding took that one for strike one. Oh, one delivery pick off to third base. Lance was not asleep, and he is back in easy at third. That has worked four or five times this year for Chat State, but just not this time. Still an 0 1 count. Oh, one count here. Peebles with the delivery. Fastball driven into right field over the jumping Jenkins. Two runs will score. As Devin Myers heads into third, Cade Spaulding with a two out RBI, two RBI single, and this game is now five to four. Runners will be on first and third for two outs, and Harrison Freeman up. Oh, oh, delivery. Change up, blown away. Strike one. Oh, one count here. Spalding off of first. He's stealing second. That is driven up the middle. Trevinson, fortunately, was covering second. That ball was hit right to him. And Freeman will be retired for the third out in the top of the fourth inning. Jackson State scratches four runs, makes this a 5-4 ball game now. As we head to the bottom of the fourth, we'll see if your Chattanooga State Tigers can respond and possibly win the inning.
bottom of the fourth inning. Tigers lead five to four. Looking to respond to Jackson State's four spot. Braden Graves steps up to the plate. Tyler Jones on deck. The first pitch. Swinging. Grounded. First base. Sticks with it. One away. Quick out. Tyler Jones steps up to the plate. Left-handed hitter, transferred from Middle Tennessee. Fouls one back. The count is 0-1 to Tyler Jones. Connor, if you're the Tigers, how do you respond from that four spot you just gave up here? Well, it would have been nice to see the leadoff guy get on. Uh, that's a big part of our offense is getting the leadoff guy on. But right now it's just get base runners, work good at bats. Um, need to see see Jones here work a good at bat and get on somehow, whether that be an air, walk, or hit. Um, biggest thing is base runners. Couldn't agree more with you, Connor. Count season, one and one, one out here in the bottom of the fourth. Jones takes ball two. Down in the pen for Chattanooga State, Connor Bryson is warming up. Looks like Donovan Peebles has been pulled from the game. And that's a ball. So the count is now three and one to Tyler Jones with one out here Great. in the bottom of the fourth. Great job from Jones here to slow it down after the quick first out. Work a plus count here. Great opportunity to go ahead and get a runner on for the Tigers. And that ball is smoked up the middle. Really good at bat there from Tyler Jones. Uh, falls behind in the count early. Works his way back to 3-1 and, and uh, gets a hit right there up the middle. Really good swing. Great job. 3-1. Get a fastball center cut. Send it right back up the middle. Absolutely. Great, great swing by Jones. Now up for Chattanooga State is the shortstop number four, Colin Trevison. One for one with the triple this afternoon. Yeah, had a really good at bat last at bat. First pitch swing in there. Worked a... Nine pitch at bat, and then finished it off by hitting a triple in the left center field gap. Left fielder had a tough time getting to it, and Colin, with some speed, makes it into a triple. So, in this at bat, he works the count to one and one. Jones is on first base. You know, with Jones really playing well as of late. You'd really like to see Colin start to piece things together offensively. He's shown some flashes. Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Collins a good defensive shortstop. And last weekend had a really good game against uh, Cleveland State in that game three. I've uh, been, been piecing together some good at bat. So he takes ball two. The count is two and two now. Yeah, absolutely. We could see Jones take off here. He goes and fake steals. Trevison fouls it off. Showing some more fight in this at bat like he did in that first one. Absolutely. Really treating his at bats as if he is the game winning run in the bottom of the ninth, bottom of the seventh. Yeah. Refuses to go down without a fight here this afternoon. Yeah, great to see Trevison putting together some good at bats here so far in today's contest. That's taken for ball three. Jones with another bluff over there at first base. You wonder, is this the pitch he goes on here, full count, like a little run and hit? I could, I could see Jones going here, maybe potentially a, a run and hit on. Uh, yep. And he does take off. Yep. There was a hit and run there. Trevison fouls it back. Another really good at bat here. Number 25 up there, Cole McKinney for Jackson State, is pretty quick to the plate. Yep, yep. Jones takes off again and he does get a bat on the ball. No play a second. You know, that's a pretty big uh, steal there and hit and run call there.
from the Tigers. Uh, if not, that ball is probably a double play ball. Although Colin is pretty fast, uh, there would be a double play in play there if, if Jones wasn't stealing. So. Yep. Blue, one of your best hitters, a chance the runner in scoring position to see if you can get any sort of response. Absolutely. Yeah, Colin worked really good at bat there. Um, fell behind and, and worked the count. Uh, moved the guy over from first to second. And now there's a runner in scoring position with two outs here in the bottom of the fourth for Chattanooga State. Up to bat is Brody Ballou, number be, five. This be huge here to get a response to that. Absolutely. Would love to scratch here. Uh, after giving up a four spot in the top of the fourth, um, responding is, is pretty big. Just continue to scratch runs. That ball is taken for ball number one. A lot of room in that six ball area between third and short for Baloo. Yeah, and that's something that Brody has been working on is um, hitting hard ground balls for the six hole and as he crushes one in the left center, center field. Sent deep. It's, now. it's down. Brody so. Ballou, really good swing. Jones will end up scoring on that. And Jones and Ballou switch spots after Brody hammers a double in the left center field gap. You know, that's something Brody does so well. He can get a fastball and stay through it. Oh, yeah. All parts of the field. A few opposite field home runs yep. this year already. Absolutely. Brody pieces that one to left and just goes to show you that he could really hit the ball to all parts of the field. A um, couple bombs to right this year and a couple bombs to left as he smokes that one to left center field. So. And, uh, great speed at second with Ballou gives Morrow a chance to drive another run. Tigers are two outs. Yep. Up now is Corey Morrow, second baseman for the Chat State Tigers. Looking to do the same thing Brody just did, switch spots. With him at second base, two outs here. Still in the bottom of the fourth. Scores 6-4. Morrow fouls that one back. Takes that for ball two. Count is two and one now. You know, Morrow hit some balls pretty well today. Yeah. Sack fly a few innings ago, smoked in the center field. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Corey had a tough day yesterday. Uh, looked like he was just out in front on pitches. Um, as he takes strike two, looked a little outside, but umpire likes it, calls it a strike. He was out in front on pitches yesterday. Um, and it looks like in his first at bat, he made the adjustment and smokes one of center field. So looking looking to uh, apply that to this at bat. Hits him. Hits him right in the, middle of the back. yeah middle of the back. That one hurts for sure. You're going to have to just walk it off. You can tell he's in some discomfort over there at first base. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. Right on the spine. As Mike Tyson says, spinal. So, it's going to bring up the team leader in home runs, Kate Chambliss. Yeah. You know, Power has certainly been on full display this year. Absolutely. Phenomenal defense over at third base this year, too. Yeah, looking to capitalize here with first and second. Huge chance. Two outs. Kate takes a ball. Looks like a changeup from McKinney. You're Chamley here. You, you hunt in red dead basketball. Absolutely. Um, McKinney hasn't showed a lot of command with his breaking ball so far. So it'd be nice to see Cham get a hold of a fastball here as he takes ball two. You see Coach Fleener over there at third base really getting up the line, trying to get a feel for where the outfield's position. Yep. Blue's got great speed over his second. You figure with a base hit, they'd be sending him home. Absolutely. Taken for ball three. Counts 3-0 three oh to Cade Chamley. Connor, if you're in the box here, even with a hitter like Cade Chamley, do you have a 3-0 -oh green light in this situation? Yeah. I mean, 
Cade's proven that he could barrel up balls consistently. Uh, if he gets a good pitch to hit, I'd like to see him swing away. Gets an outside fastball that he does not like. It's the second time we've seen that this afternoon. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cade did not like that call, started running down to first base, and umpire calls it a strike, so he'll be back in the box for a 3-1 count here with two outs. That's a pitch that Cade can can hit pretty well. I don't, I don't think he was gonna swing there anyways. The yeah. Now it's hard to lock back in as a hitter after something like that, where you think you have your base. There it but, is. Uh, There's ball four. He'll get it anyways. Tigers, really great ending in response here. Absolutely. Get some momentum back, and now Scotty Dean has a golden opportunity to do some damage. If anyone on the stream is interested in golf, the Masters is on today. It's the championship day Sunday. Scotty Scheffler is in the lead right now with seven under par. And then Colin Morikawa at six under par. And I believe Max Homa is in third with five under par. So it's a beautiful day here in Chattanooga. Sky. Yeah, yeah. Really nice to see after a week of nothing but rain. Yeah, absolutely. There's a new pitcher in for Jackson State. If I can see his number, I'll be able to see who it is. Let's see. Jackson State is wearing their teal blue jerseys today. Yeah. Pretty cool little alternate jersey, though. Stepping up to the dish now for Chattanooga State is Scotty Dean catching today. I'm going to play my yard card here, Connor. I'm, I'm expecting Dean to go get a fastball early. Damage Absolutely. Oh, that is hit. Oh. Scotty Dean's hit by that pitch. Must have grazed him on the forearm. And Chattanooga State marks a run here. So can you reuse the yard card now since the yeah. hit? Yard card is reusable if he gets hit. For and those I am, wondering, I am gonna play it here on Bryson Jenkins. I already got one on the day. Yeah, Bryson has one on the day, and my commentator partner here, Pascal, is throwing down another yard card here for Bryson Jenkins. I expect him to get a fastball early and really do some damage. That ball is taken in the dirt for ball two. 
32. So up on the mound for Jackson State is number 32, Caden Moore from Ripley, Tennessee. Plus count for Jenkins. You know he's fun in the fastball. Absolutely. Um, Man's been an issue so far. Yep. Gets a fastball and is, a is late on uh, the 2 0 pitch. Um, looks like Morse Heater has a little velo on it today. A little bit of life. Yeah, absolutely. Count is 2 and 1 to Bryson Jenkins. Morrow at third, Chamley at second, and Dean at first. But decent speed on the bases all around. Bryson Jenkins rolls that one up the middle. The middle. Shortstop has a tough time getting that out of his glove as he makes a pretty nice diving play. Couldn't get out of his glove, and Scotty Dean is safe at second. So Chattanooga State marks another run there on a hit from Bryson Jenkins. Just kind of rolls one up the middle and no man's land. yeah, kind of just gets the job done there. Is the freshman, the young buck, Sam Walter comes up to the dish. Otherwise known as Sambo. Around Sambo, Wham, Salter. Kevin, he's the man up right now at the dish, and he fouls one back, takes a good swing at it, counts 0-1. You know, what a response by the Tigers here. Connor. Yeah, absolutely. After giving up four that inning, um, didn't get anything going this inning until two outs. Uh, I mean, or actually, excuse me, one out. Uh, Tyler Jones let off this inning with a single. Um, so, yeah, very, very good response from Chat State. Putting up three here, looking to scratch more. The bases are loaded with two outs still. Walter steps back in the box. Right. Sam gets a curveball there and Hits it pretty well to the second baseman, but not too much trouble for him as he gets Sam out at first. And that'll be the end of the inning. Chattanooga State marks three in response to Jackson State's four in the fourth inning. The score is now eight to four. Chattanooga State is still in the lead. New pitcher on the mound for Chattanooga State, Connor Bryson, number 16. We'll be right back. Up now for Jackson State, it's number five, Garrett Taylor, an infielder from Clarksville, Tennessee. 
Taylor takes that for ball one. Here's a pitch from Bryson. Good pitch there. Right on the black, a slider. The count is 1 1. He tunnels that slider so well with his basketball. Yeah. Up on the mound for Chat State, Connor Bryson has a pretty interesting delivery. It's very tough to see from hitters. Hides the ball very well and kind of comes out at a three quarter arm slot. Can command his slider very good when he's on and tunnels his fastball behind that. Makes it tough for the hitter, especially his fastball has some sink on it. Goes the opposite direction as a slider, so. Looking for a shutdown inning, getting the Chat State offense back in there. That's another strike on the slider. Looks like he has some good feel for that pitch so far early in his outing. Connor, have you ever, have you ever hit against Bryson? I think I have three at bats against Connor Bryson. I think I'm um, 0 for 1 with two walks. But, you know, that one, you know, what they were talking about, ton on his slider and fastball. He's very good at landing that fastball away and, and working that slider off the off of the zone about three or four inches and and that one that bad he struck me out and it wasn't very pretty. Yeah, absolutely. Just like that. Speaking of not very pretty, look at that. Yeah, screen. Taylor uh, gets kind of buckled there from a slider. Good pitch there from Connor Bryson. And kind of adding on that, a lot of pitchers at this level have the stuff it's like Bryson it comes down to commanding those pitches in the zone um, Connor does that there looking to continue to do that in his outing today here's the pitch taking for a ball oh god they both threw the ball in. Counts 1 0. And that ball's rolled over. There's a half swing there. Yeah, a little half swing there from number 36 of Jackson State. Two quick ones for Bryson on the ball. And how huge would that be for Chat State? Now up for Jackson State's number 10, Jacob Bryant from Medina, Tennessee. Tigers looking for a quick third one. Go get those hot bats. Absolutely. Back. Connor with the quick two outs here in the top of the fifth. Throws another strike on that slider. Really is working that slider well. I don't know exactly where yesterday, you know, I'm just Coach Felger kept going right back to that low and away slider and his pitcher so far in this series have executed very well. Jackson State offense. There's that ball's flared into Right field, Tyler Jones comes in, and it drops in no man's land. A little Texas League single there from Jacob Bryant. With two strikes, just put something in play, and good things happen when you put the ball in play as Bryant singles here with two outs in the top of the fifth inning. You know, if you're on the bump here, you just got to shake that off. You executed your pitch well. You beat him in. Absolutely. That's baseball there. No harm, no foul. Just come right back in the zone. Get that third one. That pitch is taken for a ball. Counts 1 and 0. 2. Number 17, Drake Blackwood. And that hits Blackwood that's what right in the doing. ankle. That does not feel good. So Connor, after getting a quick two outs here in the top of the fifth inning, gives up a single and hits Blackwood in the in the ankle. So now Jackson State has something brewing here with two outs. Runners on first and second. It's number 14 steps up. That's Garrett Lance, the catcher from Martin, Tennessee. I think it'd be...
they go slider and Bryson leaves it outside for ball one. That's strike one. Great pitch, really, really playing that fastball well off the slider. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Bryson dots that fastball on the black for strike one. The count's one and one to Garrett Lance. Another slider there from Bryson. Lance leaves that outside for a ball. It's 2-1 now. It's fouled off. That moves the count to 2-2. Two and two. Bryson looking to put Lance away here. Get the boys on defense back in the dugout to swing the bats. Here's infield playing a shift to the full side right now. Chamley hugging the line over at third. Morrow over. So oh, and that hits. That hits Lance with two strikes. Bryson let that slider get away from him. It's been a recurring theme for the Tigers this year. You get two quick ones. <laughs> just that third out eludes them. It was a flare single in the right field and two hit by pitches. And just like that, Jackson State is within one swing of tying this game. Kylon Joyner, who hit a two RBI single his last time up to bat, steps in right here looking to do the same exact thing he did. That pitch is taken for a ball. It counts 1-1 one, one to Joyner. Here's a pitch from Bryson. It's a very good pitch there. The count's 1-2. and two. So all, all men on base besides uh, Blackwood. Bryson did get to two strikes and couldn't put them away, so let's see if he can put Joyner here. Yeah. No, he didn't. Joyner did not go on that check swing. The entire Chad State infield was running off the field right there. Everybody on the field, except the two umpires, believed that that was going to be called strike. 2-2 pitch from Bryson. Joyner fouls that off his ankle. That doesn't feel good either. A lot of balls hit yeah, whether that be off the foul ball or just a hit by pitch. Unusual amount. Blackwood's got hit in the same leg at the same spot twice today. Yeah, see him limping not fun. Second base. Here's the 2-2, two -two. and Blackwood hammers that into right center field. That drops as Tyler Jones tries to lay out for it. Falls in there, and Joyner with a two RBI double with two strikes. Seems to be the theme of this inning. Some good two strike at bats from Jackson State. And the score is eight to six now. Chattanooga State still in the lead. Bryson gets a quick two outs there. Hits a batter. Gives up a C nice single and you know that's all it takes in baseball. Get the, the momentum going. Jordan now has four RBIs on the day. Yeah, Joyner putting together a solid day up there at the plate for Jackson State. Yeah, back to what you said earlier, Connor, about command at this level. Yeah, Those absolutely. Two walks hit by pitches really coming back to hurt the Tigers here. Yep, absolutely. Colson warming up in the bullpen for the Tigers. Tying run standing at second base for Jackson State. First pitch in there, strike one. Got to limit the damage here. Get Connor Bryson on the bump. Got to find this third out. Absolutely. Need to get this guy here. 
That just misses. Up the plate for Jackson State is Devin Myers, an outfielder from Germantown. He's a freshman. Tigers playing him inside with Morrow almost over the base up the middle. And then Chamley and Trevison over. That hits. Umpire's down. That hits. Myers in the helmet. Kind of skims off his helmet and drills the umpire behind the plate. He's a little shaken up. I don't know where it got him. Did you guys see where it got him? Looks, looks like, yeah, looks like his shin. Ooh. Even though he has shin guards on. Maybe in the, I don't know. I don't know where it hit him. It looks like he's grabbing his knee, but. And we have Jaden Smoot bringing him water. Jaden Smoot, number 23 for Chat State's bringing him a, a cup of water. Caden Colson in the pitch here for the Chattanooga State Tigers. Number 20, Cade Spaulding up to bat. He hit a sack fly in his last at bat. The bases are still loaded. The score is 8-6 to six with two outs. Caden Colson's first pitch of his outing is delivered. Grounded to K. Chamley, picks it up, steps on third, and of course the third out. So Caden Colson comes in with two outs, bases loaded, throws one pitch, and gets the Tigers out of the jam. But not before Jackson State scratches two runs 
in the top of the fifth inning. It makes this an 8-6 ball game. Chattanooga State Tigers lead as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Braden Graves steps up here in the bottom of the fifth inning. New pitcher here for Jackson State, big left-hander. Not 100% sure on the number yet, but his first pitch is a slider off of Braden Graves' right foot. And that is yet another hit by pitch. Pitcher is number 31, Corey Francis, a 6'4 sophomore from Summertown, Tennessee. His first pitch ends up being a hit by pitch as Braden Grave, Graves leads off first base and Tyler Jones comes up to bat. Jones squares around, takes strike one. Tigers looking to scratch a run or two across after giving up the two spots. Yeah, it's, it's turned into a little closer than uh, than expected. As Francis picks off first base, <clears throat> Graves in there easily. As my constituents said, Tigers are looking to win this inning and scratch two or three inning, two or three runs. Francis's pitch has popped up. That will end up foul for strike two. Jackson State's really battled offensively today. Put together some good at bats. As Francis picks off a first again, Graves in there easily. Jones awaits the 0-2 delivery. Francis with the pitch. Kind of hit off the handle. Over to second base. Graves will be out. Jones is safe at first. 
Both of those runners are pretty speedy. Didn't think they were going to get the double play. They got Graves by a step or two, and Jones was safe by a step or two. As he rolls into first base with the fielder's choice, one out is recorded. Speaking of good speed, Trevison comes back up to the plate. One for two this afternoon. Trev takes ball one up and away. Francis comes set. The 1-0 delivery is taken fastball low over the plate, but under Trevinson's knees, low of the zone. With the third baseman playing it up and over towards the line, middle infield and double play depth, giving him a lot of room on that left side of the infield. Francis picks off yet again. Yet again, the runner's safe. That ball was fouled back for strike one. That is fouled back for the consecutive pitch, and the count is now 2 2. Treverson has been working some really good at bats today. Really battling up there, really seeing a lot of pitches. He had a nine or eight pitch at bat, sorry, earlier, which ended up in a triple to left center. He saw at least five or six last at bat. So. That curveball was fouled straight to the third base dugout. Bit out in front of that, but he fights it off to see another pitch. Francis's curveball looks pretty good today, has a lot of movement on it. Trevison did a good job fouling that off. Got himself another chance. Trev back in the box, ready to fight right here. Fouls another fastball off. And that one will bounce into the hood of the car. Looks like a sedan out there. This will be the seventh pitch of the at-bat. Trevison has now seen seven pitches and seven or more pitches in back-to-back at-bats. All three at bats, my correction. His twin brother Pascal Trevinson correcting me. That is taken ball three. Trevinson will see his eight pitch, eighth pitch of the at bat right here. See if he can find a way on base <clears throat> with one out. Tyler Jones will lead off first base. You think we'll see another run and hit here, Connor? So I one in a similar situation in his last at bat. And we will. Which Connor? Yeah, I just realized that. Either Connor. <laughs> Do not mic on, bro. That's all right. Our viewers home would love to hear that. You can talk in between pitches, bro. It's okay. That's what they do in big league games. Oh, yeah. This has Runner will be take off towards second. Second baseman picks it up and fields it clearly, easily. See if Baloo could do what he did back in the what was that fourth inning, lasting a double in left center field with Jones on second. Same situation here this time. We got a southpaw there, Francis, working for Jackson State. Astute observation. It's a breaking ball for the first ball of the count.
Count's now 1-1 one, one to Baloo. Baloo's a San Diego native. From the great state of California. <clears throat> and takes a strike. That was great, just the words that come to mind when I think of that state. The only word you can put great in front of state is Texas. Sorry. Ohio. No. All right. Like nobody ever. It counts now one, two, two. Baloo. The pitch from Francis is dotted on the outside corner. Baloo takes that for strike three for his second strike out of the day, and he will walk back to the dugout and head to center field. We're back here. Top of the sixth. Top of the sixth. Top of the lineup. Have Jackson a good State. game here in Chattanooga against Jackson State. Been yeah. putting together some good at bats. Tigers jumped out to a 5 0 lead through two innings, and it looked like they were just going to run away with this one. Jackson State bared down, shown some fight, and we got a good one. Absolutely. Right Jackson State, you can just tell they're a very grindy team. Um, Absolutely. You know, they, they don't get pushed around, they'll, they'll fight till the end. and Saw that in game two of yesterday's game. Absolutely, Down absolutely. Five zero, managed to make it five to three. Had the game tying run at the plate. Tigers looking to finish the sweep this afternoon. If they can get 12 more outs, they will have it. Up the plate for Jackson State is Harrison Freeman. Lead-off hitter. Hit that one well. Freeman hits it well to... Left center field, Graves is under it though. Four out number one here in the top of the sixth. Now up for Jackson State's Garrett Taylor. You know, Caden Colson on the mound, this stuff, really plus fastball, good breaking ball. Yeah, absolutely. Say, he's really been improving his command and he's been coming up huge for the Tigers. Had a Phenomenal save against Cleveland State last week. Absolutely. Victory. And he's off to a good start this afternoon. Yeah, Colson's another one of those guys, what we were talking about. Good stuff. Has found command in the zone this year and has been a big part of this Tigers bullpen and pitching staff. Looks good so far here as Taylor takes strike one. Here's the pitch from Colson. Taylor fouls that off, and the count's now 0-2. And now if you're Colson on the bump and Coach Prime calling pitches here, you can go any 
any direction O2 here. Absolutely. Last time we saw Taylor kind of get buckled on a curveball in. Uh, you expect to see that again, Connor? I would, I would expect to maybe see a, a fastball in. Um, he fouled off that, that slider. I don't know what that was. It was spiked, though. Looked like they tried to see how far he'd go on the slider. Absolutely. Not that far. Counts now one and two. Do you go high heater, inside heater after that third breaking ball? Absolutely. Colson has a good fastball. Upper eights. Upper eights. Nines. Yep. Taylor hits one up the middle. Morrow's there, though. Fields it and throws him out at first. That's the second out of the inning. So just like last inning where Jackson State scratched two. Um, two quick outs. Two quick outs, yeah. You know, Morrow over there at second base is as sure as they come defensively. Yep. You know, if there was a gold glove award in the TCAA, Corey would Morrow would have that on lock for the second base position. Absolutely. Just makes routine plays look routine and and makes really good plays as well. Another as number 36 strike. for Jackson State. Hayden Colson really showing good command of his fastball right now. Yeah, for sure. When his fastball's in the zone, it, it keeps hitters honest for his, his good slider and off-speed stuff, so... Throws a fastball in to 36 of Jackson State. The count is 1-1. You know, that's a good miss there still. That's a good purpose pitch. Yeah, absolutely. You want to keep the hitter honest up there. You don't want him thinking, like, he can get his hands extended on a fastball. Uh, kind of back him off the plate a little bit. That opens the door to do almost anything here. Mm-hmm. Even count. He goes back to the heater in, and the Jackson State hitter, 36, fouls it off. Fastballs in. You know, the hitter hasn't looked particularly comfortable on any of them. I would, I would expect a slider, maybe a back, a back foot slider here. Um, on the first fastball, he was late. On that fastball, he was early. Here's a pitch. They got another fastball that's low in the zone. The count's two and two. Two outs here in the sixth. Trying to get that third out. Three up, three down inning. Haven't had that since the first inning. That ball sky into pretty deep right field. And Tyler Jones catches that about three feet in front of the warning track. Good swing there from the Jackson State hitter. But the ball doesn't fly too much here to right field. It'll take a, a certain day, a certain win for it to really go out there. So, Caden Colson gets out of that inning one, two, three, and that's a that's a big zero for the Tigers, as they'll be hitting soon.
And we're back. Corey Morrow is up for the Tigers. It's on the mound for Jackson State. It's Francis. Corey Francis. Yeah, a couple Corys up there battling up against each other. That pitch is taken for a ball. Counts 1 0 here in the bottom of the sixth. Morrow's had some good swings today. Doesn't really have any hits to show for it, but. No, I've been putting some good swings on it. Made the adjustment from yesterday's set of games for sure. Morrow takes that for a ball, too. Here's a pitch. Another ball there. Counts three and oh. Yeah. That looked like a good pitch. Must have been low or out of the zone. So it's a ball. Here's Francis 3 0. And that's a strike. Counts 3 1. Pretty similar to the pitch we just saw. Yeah. Perhaps a little bit higher. Morrow takes that for ball four. A leadoff runner for the Tigers. That's huge. It's what this offense is built around. Yep. Get the leadoff guy on and move him around. Up now for Chat States, Kate Chamley, third baseman. Huge gap in left center field. And that pitch is fouled off his ankle. Yeah. Lots of sliders running in on hitters today and just hitting off their, their shin. I'm not really sure about this defensive alignment in the outfield for Jackson State. Cham has a big left center gap open here for him as he fouls that one back. Counts 0-2 now to Chamley. Yeah, my brother. Oh, is this? It's off the line. It's too. It was. Too, you got to move to the left a little bit. Chamley swings at a slider for strike three. And that's the first out of the inning. Francis is really good at using that breaking ball. Yeah, Francis's breaking ball looks very good today. Looks like it has a lot of movement on it. Gets Chamley there swinging. Up now, Scotty Dean. Another curveball there. Just pounding those right handed hitters in with the breaking ball. Yeah. Here, Scotty, you know that he's obviously confident with that that breaking ball. Have to sit back on it. There it is again. Scotty's out in front, fouls it off for a strike, and the count's 0-2. What's your approach against a guy like this, Connor? Uh, me personally, uh, I'm gonna sit fastball middle of the way, which is really all he's been throwing uh, fast. He hasn't been coming in really at all with that fastball. I'm gonna look to shoot that fastball the other way and just. Be early on the curveball, try to hit it to center left field. And I mean, if he misses over the plate, you get lucky. You can you can open your approach up a lot. Yeah, absolutely. You have to be able to shoot that breaking ball to the opposite field gap. As Francis goes up and away with a fastball for ball one. And that's exactly what I mean. Scotty Dean right there. Should be looking for a fastball away. You know, that four hole's pretty big in a two strike count. He's very good at going to the other side with that fastball. And he just needs to adjust to that curveball in. He's got pretty good hands. There's his again. Scotty takes that for another ball. Counts two and two to Dean. It's like a slurry. Yeah, it's gross. It'll be very horizontal.
Another fastball up and away, taken for a ball. Count is now full. Corey Morrow's on first base with one out. Do you think we see another hit and run by the Tigers? We've seen them in two full counts in a row here at runner first. Yeah, it looks like they're going, and yeah. Great job by Dean. So there, there was a run and hit, which means the runner's taking off. He's making sure he's not getting picked, first of all, but as soon as he knows the pitcher's going home, He's taking off stealing, trying to get as good of a jump as he can. And in that situation, the hitter's not obligated to swing because it is a run and hit. Uh, he's looking for a pitch in the zone that he can drive, whereas a hit and run, the hitter has to swing. So it looks like the pitcher, Francis, just balked out there. So both runners advance. Oh, it's huge. Second and third, one out. Dean out there at second base can move a little bit. It's Absolutely. Speed, so base hit. It's very big as well. It takes a, takes a ground ball double play out of the equation as well. Bryson uh, does tend to hit a fair amount of ground balls, and he hits them hard. So taking the guy off first is, is big there. As Bryson fouls that off. No, he doesn't. He swings through it, and the catcher misses it. Morrow will score on that. The Tigers now go up 9-6. to six. Looks like Bryson fouled it off, but he swung through it. The catcher had a tough time seeing it and lets it get by him. Yeah, absolutely. So Morrow will score, and Fran or excuse me, Scotty Dean will advance to third. So Bryson gets a breaking ball there for strike two, fouls it off. Got to put something in play here. There at the plate, here oh two. You got to choke up, just get a bat on the ball. Absolutely, you gotta you gotta put something in play. Count is 0-2. Here's the pitch. Bryson does a good job putting something in play. Let's see if it's deep enough to tag. Scotty Dean does not tag up from third. And Bryson Jenkins doesn't get the job done there with one out and a man on third. We'll see if Sam Walter can pick him up here. Not a horrible effort there from, from Bryson Jenkins to try to get that guy in. Just fastball seemed to run in on his hands and Hit off the handle a bit. Right fielder comes in, and it's too shallow for Scotty Dean to tag up. Let's see if Sambo can get this run in from third here. Another good breaking ball there from Francis. Taken for a ball, though, from Sam Walter. Sam's a true freshman from Murfreesboro, Tennessee. From the borough. He takes that first strike. Up and away fastball there. That seems to be where every fastball they've thrown is going right there. Yep. I know. Sam has a good opportunity here to put Ch Chattanooga State up potentially 10 to 6 if he drives this run. And there's two outs here. And he swings through that breaking ball. Breaking ball's working fabulous for Francis up there. Count is one and two to Sam Walter. See if he can put something in play here. Put some pressure on the defense. He's a quick runner. And he swings through that high fastball. And that will end the inning. Chet State marks a run there in the bottom of the sixth which puts them up 9-6 to six now as they go on defense.
And we're back Up for the Jackson State Green Jays is number 10, Jacob Bryant. Here's Colson's first pitch, and that's taken for a ball. Link, what have you seen from Jackson State today offensively? Uh, Jackson State has done a really good job of hitting with two strikes, uh, with runners on base, but mainly with two outs. I mean, they're just getting opportunities or getting guys on base, and they're executing. Yeah, absolutely. Tigers are doing the same thing offensively, have left a couple men stranded out there. Bryant hits that one to Corey Mora at second for the first out of the inning. Here's Drake Blackwood for Jackson State. Yep. Had a really big swing yesterday. Hit an absolute laser out to center. About 430 feet. Absolute no doubter. Yeah. Blackwood, a big lefty, steps in. As he rolls one over to Bryson Jenkins over at first, flips it to Caden Colson for the second out of the inning. Absolutely, and that's Bryson Jenkins' first start over at first base. He's been starting at DH for the majority of the season. Gets his first start in the field today. And battling a labrum tear. Yep. Really had a great year offensively. Looking to see if he can do that. Absolutely. Has a home run today in the first inning. Three runs yep. bomb in the left field. Jenkins put together, has put together quite the season so far. Number 14, Garrett Lance for Jackson State steps in. There's a pitch from Colson. That's a ball up and away. So two outs here in the top of the seventh. Colson's made quick work so far. Lance takes another ball. The count's 2-0. Oh. The Green Jays have another left-handed pitcher warming up in the bullpen. The pitch is fouled off from Lance. Makes the count 2-1 and one to Garrett Lance. Chattanooga State leads the series 2-0 right now. Looking to get a sweep potentially here. Jackson State is fighting though. Scores 9-6. Chattanooga State up by 3. As Lance takes a ball. Lance skies one, and looks like Cham's trying to get there, and that ball, no Cham catches it, over. falls over the fence, and he catches it. Oh my! What God. a play what there a from K. Chamley. Couldn't even see it from the press box. Had to stand up and look over the dugout. Makes a phenomenal play, diving over the fence to catch that foul ball from Garrett Lance. Really spectacular play there from Kay, looking like Manny Machado over there. And that will end the inning. Lateral movement there. Find the so Colson with a 1-2-3 inning does a good job putting up a zero there as the Tigers are swinging the sticks now.
Braden Graves stepping in to lead off the bottom of the seventh inning here for the Tigers. Francis still on the mound. Uh, two innings of work, one run given up. Has been pretty effective so far for Jackson State. Scores 9-6 as Braden Graves takes that first pitch high and away for ball one. The 1 0 delivery from Francis is fouled straight back. Braden Graves in a 1 1 count now. Graves rolls that one over, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Stepping up to the plate for the Tigers is Tyler Jones. Jones had a hard single back in the fourth inning. Looking to do the same here, get the Tigers offense rolling. Pitch is taken for a strike. Counts now one and two to Tyler Jones. Taken for a ball. It moves the count to two and two. Check swings at that. Doesn't go, and that'll be taken for a ball. He didn't get an there. Yeah, no appeal there. That moves the count to three and two here. Bottom of the seventh. And that's strike three. Jones goes down looking for the second out of the inning. Colin Trevison steps up to the dish now. The shortstop. Trevison fouls that one off. Counts now 0 and 2 to Colin Trevison. Everson hands one, hammers one into left. Second hit of the afternoon. Yeah, Treverson's now two for four. A couple good at bats, good two strike knock there. Good speed over there. Wouldn't be surprised if he tried to move himself over into scoring position for Ruby Blue. So Trevin with Trevison with a single. <laughs> Brody Ballou's now up, and he goes. He gets picked off, slides, oh and the umpire calls him out. So hits a single, tries to go, but Francis picks him off. The first baseman over at Jackson State throws him out at second, and that will end the inning. We'll now be going into the eighth inning as Jackson State is now up.
Now up for Jackson State is Kylan Taylor. Or excuse me, Kylan Joyner. Kylan Joyner. Has a couple hits today. Four RBIs on the day. Both hits came with two outs. This one, this at bat is leading off the inning, top of the eighth for Jackson State. Joyner takes that for a ball. Joyner hits that pretty well into left, but Graves is there. First out of the inning. Up to bat now for Jackson State is Devin Myers. Colson throws his first pitch, and that's a strike to Myers. Strike two there from Colson. He's now up in the count to Myers. One and two. Chat State leads Jackson State. Nine to six here in the top of the eighth inning. Count is now two and two, two Myers. That barely missed. Counts now full to Myers. It's three and two. <clears throat> That's taken for strike three. Colson strikes him out for the second out of the inning. That drills him right in the back. That's number 20, Cade Spaulding getting hit. Second time getting hit by a pitch today. That brings up number three, Harrison Freeman for Jackson State. Colson throws that to the backstop. Spalding will advance on that wild pitch there. So that puts a base runner on second base for Jackson State with two outs. Freeman looking to drive him in here. <clears throat>
That's taken for a ball. Throw back to Colson. Bounces. Gets back on the mound. That's a strike there. Counts now two and one. Taking for a ball. It's now three and one to Freeman. That's a strike. It's now full. Three and two count here with two outs in the top of the eighth. Spalding on second base. Freeman up at the dish. Freeman fouls that one back. Count remains full. Another foul ball. Freeman battling up there. Freeman flares that one into right. Jones coming in, lays out. Does not catch it, and that's an RBI single for Freeman. The hitter just got ejected. I don't know what in the world just happened. He launched that bat back at Scotty Dean, and it almost hit him in the head. Oh, and they've called him out, and the run's not going to count. And I don't know if it's this score. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so we got some confusing things going on, on the board. Looks like Chat State is going back on defense. Did somebody get ejected? Who's on first? Okay, so it looks like Freeman has got ejected from the game yeah. for throwing his bat. Is it on purpose? I don't, I don't know. Did it look like it? Did it you see it? I didn't see I it. I saw the bat flying back towards Scotty. Wait, you're not allowed to put a pitch on the for being to eject him. That's against the rule. Is the rules yeah. expert Adam Berger says it's against no, the rules. No, that's rule. like John Donaldson gets thrown out on a home run and it's not, not the same. Now. It's not the same rules. The uh, TCAA is a far leap from the MLB. <laughs> Nonetheless, an interesting series of events. Here. So, Freeman gets ejected for throwing his bat and almost hit our catcher, Scotty Dean. He does get the RBI. He gets the RBI and the ejection. Connor, was that retaliation from the hit by pitch? No. I don't know what that was. But... They put a pinch appeared, runner on first base. It appeared that he was frustrated. He didn't really hit the ball all that well. Probably thought it'd be a fly out and just kind of whipped the bat back.
So looking at the replay, it looks like Freeman, out of frustration, flung his bat and gets ejected. So still two outs here. Run does score. Colson still on the mound with the runner on first. Batter. Garrett Taylor rounds out to shore on the first pitch of his at bat. And the Tigers get off the field pretty quickly after that whole incident. The score is now 9-7. to seven. Chattanooga State still leads. Looking to get some insurance runs here in the bottom of the eighth. Brody Ballou stepping up to the plate to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning here for the Chad State Tigers as he fouls the first pitch straight back. 
number one, Cade Steiner from Clarksville, Tennessee, is now in the game. The lefty has been tasked with getting Ballou out as Ballou rolls over. Second baseman throws over to first, and the first out is recorded. C.J. Morrow now up, squares the bunt, pulls it, and it rolls just foul. That was a very good-looking bunt off of the bat, but it takes a right turn after the second hop and rolls into foul territory. C.J. Morrow will jog back to home plate and try again. And the second pitch to C.J. Morrow is ball one. C.J. Morrow takes a third pitch for strike two on the outside corner. And the fourth pitch, 1-2 delivery, is grounded to the six hole. Shortstop going over. Cannot make the play. That ball will roll into left field, and C.J. Morrow is on board with the single here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Kate Chamley now steps up. Scotty Dean on deck. Bryson Jenkins waiting in the hole. And the first pitch to Kate Chamley is a backdoor breaking ball low in the zone. Ball one. And the 1 0 delivery to Kate Chamley is popped into the parking lot for strike one. One one counter to K Chamley. CJ Moore off first. The pitch is a backdoor breaking ball. Left a little bit outside for ball two. Two one count. Steiner with the fourth pitch of the at bat. That will be ball three. At about K Chamley's head. 3-1 count here to Chamley. He does most of his work in plus counts like this. Eight home runs on the year. C.J. Morrow off of first base. One out. K. Chamley awaits the pitch from Steiner. And the delivery is popped into center field. Center fielder moves about five step over to his left and hauls it in for out number two. And two outs now, Scotty Dean up to the plate, takes a curveball high and away for ball one. Steiner steps off as his pitching coach will come out to talk to him with two outs here in the bottom of the eighth inning.
Steiner back on the mound here. Scotty Dean in the box. C.J. Moore off first. 1-0 count here with two outs in the bottom of the eighth inning. Steiner's delivery is a fastball low and away for ball two. Jenkins on deck. And Steiner's 2-0 delivery is fouled straight back. Scotty Dean looked like he was on time for that one, just a little bit under it. 2-1 count now. Connor, what do you think you've seen from Scotty Dean so far this season in conference that has made him a good four-hole for the Chad State Tigers here? Well, he works the count a lot. Um, when he gets his pitch, he puts a good swing on it. And... Uh, you know, he's, he's been a lot better about putting the ball in play and barreling balls up. Couldn't agree more. Scotty Dean, big part of that middle part of the order for the Chet State Tigers. Steps in here after he's fouled that 2-1 curveball back. 2-2 two -two count now with two outs. C.J. Morrow off first. Steiner's delivery is way outside. C.J. Morrow decided to hold up as he's going to be on the move right here for this pitch. Moro gets picked off. He is safe. Steiner trying to catch him sleeping on 3 2. Full count here. In the delivery, Morrow's on the move. That is taking ball four high. Bryson Jenkins will step up to the plate now. John Henry, number six, is on deck, who has been subbed in for Sam Walters. We'll see if he gets his first at bat today. With Bryson Jenkins up here with two outs. Sorry. And the first pitch of the at-bat is taking strike one in the outside corner. Looked a little bit outside, but the umpire thought it caught the black. Dean off a of first, Morrow off a of second, Steiner comes set. Jenkins with two hits already today. Looking for his third as he takes strike two. Steiner quickly ahead, 0-2. We'll see how Bryson Jenkins handles this hole. The 0-2 delivery is high and away, ball one. And the pitch to beat Bryson Jenkins is swung on and missed. Strike three. That will end the eighth inning. The Tigers score no runs on no hits, or one hit, sorry, from C.J. Morrow. As we'll head to the top of the ninth inning, see if the Tigers can close this one out.
And number 36 will step into the box for Jackson State. Caden Colson still on the mound here in the top of the ninth. Reed Leonard is warming up. In case Colson gets into some trouble. Colson's first pitch of the inning is ball one way outside. The one on delivery from Caden Colson is a fastball on the outside corner. Good pitch right there. We'll see if he can repeat that, hit that spot again. It's going to work out very well for him if he can. The 1-1 one -one delivery is driven high to right field. Tyler Jones looks like he gets under it. And we'll put that one away for out number one here in the top of the ninth inning. That one was hit very high, but not very far, as Tyler Jones caught that one with ease and records out number one. Jacob Bryant steps back into the box. Colson's first pitch is taken for strike one on the inside corner. Dean dropped it, but the umpire thought it was good enough to be called a strike. 0-1 count. That pitch is taken for ball one. One-one delivery here from Colson is fouled straight back for strike number two. One-two count here. One, two deliveries, ground out the middle. Trevinson fields it, makes a dive and play. Throws the first. Will not be able to get Brian at first base in time. Good effort there by Trevinson. That will go down as an infield single from Jacob Bryant as he lays that one out. Now stepping up to the plate. Number 17, Drake Blackwood in the box as he fouls the first pitch from Caden onto the tennis courts for strike number one. One delivery to Blackwood is taking ball one low. And the one one delivery is driven to right center field. Jones heading back. Cannot pull it pull it in. Brian will head to third and Blackwood will head to second with the one out double here and the tying run is now on second base for the Jackson State Green Jackets. Green Jays. Sorry. Number 14 Garrett Lance steps up in a big situation here for the Green Jays. Bryant leads off of third. Blackwood will lead off a of second after that one out double. Coach Dennis calls time, and what looks like will be a pitching change. Reed Leonard will come in 
to try to close this game out for your Jet State Tigers. Reed Leonard in to close the game here for the Chad State Tigers. Looking for a save opportunity. Runners on second and third after that two one out double. That first pitch from Garrett Lance is fouled into the parking lot. Count is now 0-1. The 0 1 delivery from Leonard is a fastball swung through, strike two. Right. 0 2 count here, driven to right field. Jones moving back. He catches that one. One run will score. The tying run moves up to third base with two outs. And Kylon Joyner, who has four RBIs today and two two-out, two-RBI hits. We'll see what he can do here in a 9-8 to ball game with two outs in the top of the ninth with a runner on third. That first pitch is taken outside for ball one. One no count here. Kylon Joyner awaits the second pitch of the at bat. That is a slider, misses away 2 0.
Blackwood off a of third. Leonard's with a 2-0 delivery. Another slider over the middle of the plate. Joyner takes it for strike one. 2-1 one count now. Two one count, two outs, run on third, nine to eight ball game. Tigers lead by one. Another slider, that one misses. Count is now three and one. Joyner in a plus count here, looking to tie the game up. All he needs is an infield single. Three one count. That is chopped to first base. Jenkins comes over, flips to Leonard's, who makes a nice play, and that will end the game. Your Chat State Tigers win 9-8. to eight.